Hello, this is John Kenlopoulos from our center in Athens, Greece, clinical professional oncology in NYU Medical School. Fascinating new modality in our armamentarium in treating severe limbo stem cell deficiency. This is not amniotic membrane. We reported this over 20 years ago. This is amniotic fluid. And we can all sense and have experienced the difficulties in transplanting amniotic membrane in multiple, multiple ways. This fluid we're able produced by BioLab Sciences. You can see here in half a mil sterile fluid. This is a room temperature stored, has a shelf life about six months. Tremendous, tremendous technology by Amulab. And we have uh, used the recipe to transcribe this material into an anophthalmic ointment. So using amniotic fluid, to produce an ophthalmic ointment here in our laboratory in Athens, Greece. And this is case one, 35 year old female, high myop, severe contact lens abuse for obvious reasons and severe epithelopathy, tremendous visual fluctuations, very significant difficulty in wearing contact lenses for over a few hours. We can see the tremendous inflammation of the inner part of the eyelid, very blur, blurred cornea reflex, this lady is miserable and she's seeking treatment. Obviously, in the past, we would uh, entertain a long term corticosteroid treatment, discontinuing contact lenses, um, perhaps in more severe cases, an amniotic membrane, membrane transplant. This would be a very radical change of lifestyle for this lady who's an executive here in Athens. Uh, we're going into our OptiView 9 millimeter cornea thickness maps and more importantly epithelial maps and you can see the thickness maps on the left showing a normal cornea architecture as far as thickness is concerned once we look at the epithelial thickness maps on the right we can see the severe very severe external disease of this patient we have reported extensively that these maps look all green in all eyes of all patients regardless of age sex and refractive error the blue color here denotes very significant epithelial thinning, almost a limbo stem cell deficiency. This is the other eye of the same patient for obvious reasons. Contact lens abuse this is a very high myope, impossible to work and function with spectacles who so are obligated to wear soft contact lenses for over 20 years now. And um, this is the result. So our treatment plan with this new modality, discontinue contact lenses for a month and use amniotic fluid ointment as we described before four times a day. So this is our patient. See her now just a month later. You can see the eyelid has calmed down. Of course, stopping contact lens use will help with this, but this is a remarkable improvement. I want to add here, there's no corticosteroid treatment in this patient. This is just the amniotic uh, fluid made ointment. This is the corneas imaged a month later you can see the clarity of the cornea has returned the eyelid on the bottom left of course does not look, look perfectly naive and quiet but uh, it, it has a significant improvement for it from the pictures that we saw at uh, the time that the patient seeked treatment and i'm going to roll over to the most significant uh, in my opinion finding and we've worked a lot on this entity over the last 10 years these are the epithelial maps that we can see are coming back to normal. And we're introducing to you a new modality. This is a treatment for severe ocular disease that does not involve corticosteroids. It is a sterile certified fluid that has a shelf life for six months to a year. It, it's very easy to convert into an ointment and instead of using a whole amniotic membrane graft, it's used four times a day. It's very easy to be used. And we can see the remarkable changes in epithelial modeling occurring just one month after the treatment. We're going to go and show you an even more significant case um, in just a few seconds. But um, compelling, compelling data. This is another case, a 59-year fe female that comes to us with very significant limbo stem cell deficiency. She's been suffering from visual fluctuations. She's been always almost described and prescribed a 
spectacle prescription every single week for the last two months. And these are her um, cornea OCT images. We can see how significantly irregular the cornea, cornea thickness is and how significantly irregularly in the bottom the cornea epithelium mapping is, showing significant remodeling of the epithelium and significant limbo stem cell disease in this patient. Our treatment plan here, use amniotic fluid made ointment as we described before, four times a day for four months. The patient was followed every month and remarkable improvement. The epithelial maps show severe normalization. You can appreciate the differences from the epithelial map shown before, as well as the total cornea thickness map. And um, how this patient improved from a best corrective visual acuity of 2040 to 2020 and how stable her fractions became with a very, very simple treatment. On the left, the pre-ops showing the significant cornea haze due to the limbo stem cell deficiency in this uh, middle-aged lady with very dry eyes and significant ocular surface disease. And we can see on the right hand of the picture the significant improvement in clarity, quiescence of the conjunctiva with this amniotic fluid-derived ointment. This is John Kenlopoulos signing out. Thanks so much for watching this.